Hi guys and girls, thumbs up from me as usual, God bless you all, welcome to my channel The Real Love Festival Survival Channel and in today's video it's all about looking after your boots, boot maintenance, polishing, cleaning and making sure that they are well looked after. If you look after your boots they will look after you. So if you stick around I'll show you what I've been up to. Welcome back guys and girls. Okay, as you can see, I've got my boots on the table, ready to be cleaned up. And uh, I'm going to start off with my boots on the right hand side. Basically what you see, I've got the laces. Laces are very important as well. Make sure your laces are not old and frayed. Uh, basically keep them keep them uh, in good condition and if, if you see that they're not very good you know get another pair of laces straight away okay guys and girls I go through several laces um, because I'm out and about in water conditions and they might snap so you know having a good pair of laces is very important as well guys and girls and also have some spare laces around if you want to put them in your kits your bug out bags spare laces are very important Okay, I mean I, I very simply polish my boots, I mean there's loads of methods out there, um, I mean this is not the Marine Corps or the Army where you know they have to be really really kept in good condition, but I'm not saying you don't keep your boots in good condition, obviously you do. Okay, what I've done basically, I've cleaned them, cleaned the soles, made sure there's no dirt, and I've had these boots now for for over well over a year now and they're really you can see the sole it's not gone down I mean I use these boots really mainly in the park for training with my bug out bags I use the brown pair for the park and I use the black pair for the city every day in the city but also um, I'm, I'm always prepared for anything that may happen that's why I break my boots in I always look after my boots keep them in good condition so like I was saying, I clean the soles, I basically make sure there's no dirt, clean as much of the dirt off as possible. And as you can see, what I've started doing was putting the polish on there, okay? So make sure they're clean, free from dust, dry, clean the soles, take the laces off obviously. And what I've basically done, got an old sock right here makes things really easy you can put your hand in there and uh, basically you can start applying the polish on your boots so what I do just dab it on like that and then I just start rubbing it in nicely making sure that I get into all those places protecting the threads as well, really important to go over the, the thread where there's little little gaps okay so just work it in guys, work the polishing the tongue as well okay just add a bit more add a bit more polish Okay, on the other side that I've been doing already but working it in the tongue as well you want to keep the tongue nice and protected as well now I'm very pleased with these boots actually these are the, the Carrymore Orkney uh, got them half price at Sports Direct so just work the polish in 
over the thread in between where you lace up as well okay looking good all right just working the polish go into the, the down here as well where the seams are make sure you go where the laces are the tongue and just work it in guys okay Okay guys, once you're satisfied with the polish that you've been putting onto your boots, making sure like I said that you do all the seams, you know, the places where they're stitching, the seams between the, the upper part of the boot and the sole part of the boot, make sure that you've got all in every nook and cranny. Once you're pretty satisfied that you've dabbed on plenty of polish making sure like I said you get into all the areas with the polish look on the edges as well guys you know you put on the edge of the actual uh, the top making sure right along the top here that you've got polish okay where water might be able to go in into the seams make sure you put plenty of polish there as well all the edges, the edges down here. Okay, once you're pretty satisfied that you've got a nice amount of polish on there, you pretty much leave them. What I do is I leave them for a few hours, let the polish soak in. You repeat, repeat the process for your other boots. Okay, so these are the black ones now, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to polish these up and I use cherry blossom black and I use cherry blossom dark tan for my brown boots okay so once I've put on the polish on the black boots I'll come back to you guys okay guys and girls so there you have it I've given both boots a good um, dabbing of polish once again making sure that you've done all the threading uh, the seams the edges all the little nooks and crannies around where you tie the laces up around the tongue area making sure that you've put polish everywhere what I'm going to do now is I'm going to let them soak now for a couple of hours let the polish soak into the leather nicely I've done them both, done the brown pair and I've done the black pair. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to let them sit and let the leather soak in the polish. Now while I'm here, I'm going to come back to the socks. Now you've got all, everyone's got an old pair of socks in the house so what I do is I cut them in half and I use the toe ends to basically apply the polish onto the boots. Good thing about the toe end is that you can put your hand in it and you can use your fingers to dab in. Hello, everyone. Hello. 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 Stop talking. <laughs> okay, yeah. So, getting serious again. You can use the, the sock to put the, apply the polish on your boots. And you can use the other end to polish them up after when, when you're ready to polish them up along with the brush to give them a really good polish. But I use this, the other end of the sock to take off the excess polish and start polishing process okay guys and girls and while I'm talking about polish this is really good stuff right here this is the polish I'm using at the moment okay but if you really want to waterproof your boots uh, this stuff's really good um, Nick Wax waterproofing wax for leather Field and Trek I bought this uh, the only thing is it don't really give you a shine on your boots but it's not about your shine I mean these really get your boots shining and the reason earlier I did mention the army um, the reason why they put it into people about looking after your boots is because you really your boots like I said if you look after your boots your boots will look after you so actually the army have got it right there I'm not knocking them 
when I said it's not the Marines or the Army, you don't have to be as polished up. But actually, we can learn a lot from them guys because uh, they are professionals. So the, the more you look after your boots, the more they will look after your feet. Okay. So again, once again, having good laces, making sure that you've got good laces and in tip-top condition. You don't, you don't want them snapping on you. And uh, so always make, make sure you've got good laces on your boots. Okay, so there we go. I've dabbed the polish on both pairs now. I've showed you about the socks, about the laces, and also it's good to have a nice little brush. And what I usually do, I've got one of these little containers and I put my, my stuff in there. Uh, let me just quickly show you something roughly what I kind of do, just put my polish in there, put my brush in there and you've got a nice little, actually this is an old CD case and I've pulled out the CD sleeves and I made it into a, a shoe cleaning kit. Alright, you can put your sock in there and then you've got, you're away, okay? You can put any kinds of polish in, in a little container like this. Alright guys, so this is like a little shoe polishing kit. So right, I'll get back to you. Once everything, uh, once, the, once the polish is soaked in, and I will come back to you and show you me starting to polish them up. Okay, so as you can see, these have been sitting down, allowing time just let them sit down for a good few hours and allow the leather to soak in the polish you can see they're very dull at the moment that's what happens when you put the polish on so what I'm going to do I'm actually going to start polishing them so using the other sock that you haven't been using I used part of the sock to put the polish on as you can see there you can use the other part of the sock to start removing the polish. Just want to show you now. Compare. As you can see straight away. It's shining up really nicely. Look at that see my face in there <laughs> okay <clears throat> so we compare excuse me we compare that to the dull boots so like I was saying just continue taking off the polish And you can see it starts to shine up really nicely. And then what you could do, also use the brush as well. And this is the way I do my boots. And you can see the way that is shining really nicely there. Do all the seams, the lace holes where the laces go in. Okay. So yeah, remove the the sock. Use the sock to remove the polish. Excuse me. And yeah, it was coming up really nice. But you know that your your boots are nicely waterproof now with the polish. And also they look really good. So remove all the remove all the polish. Use the sock. Use the brush to get right in there. That's the way I do my boots. I mean if you got different methods, please leave a comment below and tell me how you polish your boots if you like. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna remove all the polish from both of the boots so there you go guys I'll just compare I haven't removed it totally from this boot yet but just showing you that boot there is dull 
and that is shiny so you can see the difference so what I'm going to do guys and then these, these pair as well okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off I'm going to polish them up put the laces on and come back to you okay guys and girls so there we have it boots all nice and shiny like I said take your sock your old sock give it a good rub a uh, good sort of clean polish up nice polish up right there use the brush to get into all the little nooks and crannies right there you know just finish off these boots and as you can see you know they're very shiny you might be able to see me in the background raving my hand <laughs> okay you can't see my face in it oh there you go uh, you might be able to see my hand just about but anyway there you go guys look how nice and shiny they are now so the importance of your boots maintaining your boots polishing your boots keeping them nice and waterproofed and polished up is so important guys you know you really have to look after your feet out and about and uh, you know I've had these boots right here the Orkney Kerrymore I've had them for well over two years actually I said in the previous segment that I had them for nearly two years or a year and a half actually I've had them for more on two and a half years and they're in fantastic condition I don't wear them every day you can see the soles are relatively um, in good condition we're still in very very good condition just a little bit worn a little bit worn there and these ones have been to Cyprus with me on a couple of occasions and they're worn out just a little bit ever so slightly at the back there okay you can see that there they're worn out but yeah if you look after your boots your boots will look after you so you've got your polishing kit you regularly clean them we polish them and basically I don't wear them all the time I basically got these ones for when I'm going to the park with the dogs I use these ones when I'm out and about in London but typically I've got a pair of boots on because if anything happens I kinda like my feet are protected and so that's why I always keep my boots nice and clean I make sure they're in good condition like I was saying I've had these ones for well over two years two and a half years and they're in fantastic condition these boots here they're almost like new I've had these boots for over a year now as well I broke them in as you can see the sole is a little bit worn here but perf they're perfect underneath um, you can see this little bit of wear and tear here and actually I didn't show you the bottom of these boots as well you can see they're in really good condition still and you can see the wear here you can actually see the wear and tear right here but I keep them in really good condition i.e. looking after the the leather make sure they're waterproofed and uh, the only thing with this one here I went on some rocks near, near the coast in Cyprus and I kind of scratched them up a little bit but no big deal um, there's probably people out there that know how to repair that but as far as they're polished and well waterproofed that should, that's not a big deal for me if they're a little bit um, scratched no big deal but yeah the soles are still really solid you can see a little bit of wear here but I do believe you still can get a new uh, heel on these type of boots even though they're, it's all one piece I have in the past actually taken a pair of Timberland boots many years ago when I had a pair of Timberland boots and they actually gave me a new heel he was able to kind of like stick one on here maybe you could just cut that off, cut it off but at the moment they don't need to be changed I look after my boots I really you know one of the most important parts of your kits if not definitely in the top um, five most important things in your kits is your boots it's not just the stuff in your bag because if you've got no decent boots you know you're really gonna have a bad time you can't carry your kit so I'd say they're probably in the top three even of important things to have with you in a bug out scenario okay along with a good waterproof jacket waterproof trousers, obviously and good jumpers thermals stuff like that 
Okay, this stuff comes before your kit. Obviously you need food, water and shelter and stuff like that. But if you've got no decent shoes and your feet are wet, you're really in serious trouble. Okay, so another thing what I do is I get some paper. Often you, when you buy new boots, you always get them stuffed inside here. You just stick a, you stick a bit of paper in and that just keeps the shape of the toe right there. So I'd get a couple of those, stick them inside, okay? That way your toes are protected. Okay guys, that way your toes are protected. I do that when, my, when I polish up my boots. I do it on both, okay? I do it on both sets. And another thing I wanted to quickly just show you guys. When, you, when the polish runs out of these tins, what you can do is keep the tin. You can make that a char cloth tin. Do loads of little things with that. Make a little survival kit. As you've seen guys, I've been doing some micro kits. If you scroll down, look out for the last video. Uh, last couple of videos have been about micro kits. So I can make a little micro kit in this. Very handy, so don't throw it away. It's good to recycle your stuff. So that's another idea. And again, remember to, you know, there's a couple of, there's about three things here that I've recycled. The socks, the CD case, that the, the polish boot kit's in and these tins. So there you go, three bits of uh, things that I've re recycled as well. Okay guys, so there we have it. Just a little short and sweet video about how to look after your boots, how to polish them, making sure that you check over the laces, check the soles, make sure it's all clean, um, which polish, different polishes to use. Like I said, this stuff is good. The Nick Wax waterproofing it's also you can also get stuff for your clothing as well so you have a little little place to put all your boot stuff um, again you know don't chuck away the tins useful so yeah guys thanks for watching the video um, just about looking after your boots if you want to like share subscribe please do so if you want to comment leave a note below I appreciate you all thanks for watching the video Take good care of yourself out there. God bless you all. And hopefully I will see you all in the new uh, year. This is the new year now, 2019. Hopefully I'll see you um, soon. But if you guys got any ideas or you, 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 um, you've got different ways of putting, of putting polish on or cleaning your boots or maintaining your boots, please just leave a little message below. And God bless, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.